Welcome to the Talk Briefs. This is Frico Talks the News for Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Our top brief of the show is high-tech UK firm loses execs over new Chinese owners. From TechNote. Imagination Technologies execs quit over Chinese takeover. Excerpt. Two executives at Imagination Technologies, a UK semiconductor design and manufacturing firm, have quit their positions following a postponed boardroom takeover from Chinese investors. Sky News reported, citing people familiar with the matter. Why it matters. The semiconductor firm is one of the UK's most prolific tech assets with over 30 years worth of patents. There you go. There you go. It's all about that. That's why companies buy companies these days. They don't. They don't even care about the infrastructure. They just care about the patents, the 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 colonization of the mind. You're seeing the problem here yet, folks? Are you seeing what happens as as you allow the extension of the quote unquote logic of patent law to extend itself, and how it gets increasingly held in the hands of the very few? That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Remember that figure that I showed you. I want to get back to that figure. Remember this figure. And if you're watching this excerpt, you should watch the whole show. Thirty-eight billion dollars. That's how much. That's the ad revenue that will that will be lost in the U.S. projected from the coronaviruses. Thirty-eight billion dollars. That means if if a human being made fifty thousand dollars a year. That's 760,000 human beings that are going to be without $50,000 a year, roughly speaking, with the loss of that revenue. And there are human beings that possess more wealth than that. And even, even if they don't possess the wealth directly, because of the power that they have and the influence they have over others, their de facto access to wealth far exceeds that single individuals versus 760,000 human beings that's not democratic that's not representational that's that's not bill of rights that's not rule of law that's something else that is that's not right that is a that is a a a, 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 a market totalitarianism is what it is i think we got ourselves a new term here folks maybe it's not a new term but whatever it is for me. New term. Market totalitarianism. It's kind of what we're talking about. If that's capitalism, that's just as bad as socialism. Because socialism, whenever you marry a state to socialism, it's always going to turn into a cluster bluster. It's going to be a it's going to turn into totalitarian absurdities and and that's what's going to happen with this if this is what capitalism is. This is this is what you get. You, you, you capitalists are the biggest proponents of the whole IPs because the whole idea of property, property is so sacred. All of human life should be defined by property. That's where so many capitalists are rooted. Now, I'm not going to have an intellectual argument with capitalists about, about property one way or another. At like, least I could in some context, but in general when I meet them, I'm, I'm much more interested in I don't want to know anything about your ideologies in general. I want to know who would you kill? Who would you lift up? Who are your heroes? Who are your villains? And what level do you justify using coercive action against others? And who are the others that you would justify that for? And then that'll tell me far more about you than anything else you say. I'll be able to figure out so much more about you. Like That's, that's the key know who people love and hate and you know everything you know, need to know about them it, it'll it'll unfold from there because that is the reflection of their true reality of power that they reflect through what their 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 actual preferences are or their core preference what i like to call the god seed you can call it your core driver but that's that's what tells you what 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 they're in for what factions they represent and and then everything else makes sense. And then their inconsistencies that everybody's baffled by no longer seem confusing to you because you understand what's what the real core drivers are. Now, this is all just theory, by the way, Frico theory. That's why we want to have those little things up there. I throw out my ideas no matter how strange and weird they are. 
and I leave it for my massive audience, nobody's watching, to, to, to decide whether whether there is some gold to the nugget or whether the nugget is filled with uh, some sort of proverbial, uh, uh, let's just say some detritus from, from a solid type of uh, factoring that uh, comes out in some sort of tubular manner. Poop. Poop. All right, now which one of these are gonna re are we gonna read here? Let's see. Not the universe. A light driven pump. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Airline. Oh, you know what? Let me at least read the headlines for you. I'm gonna remember to do that. New observations show that the universe might not be expanding at the same rate in all directions from universe today. Okay. A light driven proton pump in distant relative. Now that's hard to understand, but I'll, I'll read this last paragraph here. The race is on to investigate these small but significant organisms. Uh, I mentioned who it's from. It's fizz.org. The race is on to investigate these small but significant organisms. Associate Professor Kaiki Inoue from the Institute for Solid State Physics at the University of Tokyo, Professor Hideki Kandori from Nagai Institute of Technology and their team chose to study a feature of Asgard Archai that, although not unique to them, is especially interesting in their case, and that is light-sensitive or photoreceptive proteins called rhodopsins. The organisms live at the bottom of the ocean and lakes, so it's surprising they need any kind of sensitivity to light. There you go. That's enough of that. You guys figure out the rest. Airline lobby to rewrite carbon deal in light of coronavirus. I don't know. Coronavirus. Bleh, coronavirus. I'm on the max. Model warns of genetic modifications going awry in trees. Okay, you know what? I'll just read this headline here first. PARP inhibitor drugs can be tuned for better killing of tumor cells. That's from Science Daily. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one now. This is the other story we're going to really do. Model warns of genetic modifications going awry in trees from Futurity. Excerpt. A new model aims to predict genetic changes that have unintended consequences in trees that researchers genetically modify. It could pave the way for more efficient research in the fields of both genetic modification and forestry. Researchers want to genetically modify trees for a variety of applications, from biofuels to paper production. They also want to steer clear of modifications to one gene that results in unexpected changes to other genes. The research issue focuses on lignin, a complex material found in trees that helps to give trees their structure. It is, in effect, what makes wood feel like wood. These models, however, do not account for cross-regulatory influences between the genes. So wait, um, um, you know what? Hold on. I'm sorry, I went too fast. I need to pause here because we need to enjoy. This is like watching a movie. You want to see the good part? You really want to see the good part before, because everybody inevitably, you know, they make that fall, and then they crash and burn. And it's all hopeless, and then Deus Ex Machina. Wait, I suddenly remember when I was a child, I once had a football that was shaped just like this football, and the only place that this football ever came from was from Sam's Diner. She's at Sam's Diner, you know, something like that. Well, this is. You still want to enjoy the rise, so I want to float and leave this hang here. The research at issue focuses on lignin, a complex material found in trees that helps to give these trees their structure. It is, in effect, what makes wood feel like wood. Wait! We've done it! Done it! Right here, Apex Like, Ladies and gentlemen, we have created synthesized wood. We don't have to kill trees anymore! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Dolores just called your boss and she's making up some smack about you and it looks like your boss is going to ask you to turn in your science badge. I will. You know what? I'll turn in my badge and my gun. Wait, why do you have a gun? You're a scientist. I always have a gun. It'd be like that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this to you. I apologize. Now, here we go. Here's crash and burn. These models, however, do not account for cross-regulatory influences between the genes. So, when we modify a targeted gene, the existing models do not accurately predict the changes we see in how non-targeted genes are being expressed. Not capturing these changes in expression of non-targeted genes hinders our ability to develop accurate gene modification strategies, Increasing the possibility of unintended outcomes in Lincoln and Wood traits turns them into 
wood wood certs wood certs that come out to the ground shaped like mm, Andrew Cuomo's head just his head not his body just his head but not actually look like his head just kind of shaped like in that kind of lumpa pumpa kind of the, 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 the Cuomo pumpa wumpa kind of uh, you know kind of roly poly kind of vibe. you know you know these things are just kind of pull. I'm going too far with this I'm sorry I, I've, 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 I've stepped too far with the whole the woodzards, but they can't be good. Woodzards will probably eat your children. That's the bottom line. That's where we're going with this. We're going down that. All right, let's 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 highlight this. I should have highlighted like I actually did that like one little part at a time and raise it up so you can see it. How did I do that? This model could be incorporated into larger multi-scale models, providing a computational tool for exploring new approaches to genetically modifying tree species to improve lignin traits for use in a variety of industry sectors. In other words, by changing one gene, researchers can accidentally mess things up with the other genes, creating trees that aren't what they want, creating woodsorts that turn into Cuomo-shaped head things. Not heads, just Cuomo-shaped things. Cuomo head-shaped things. Cuomo head-shaped things called woodsorts that just roll around and they're constantly going back and forth with, Eric, you're doing a great job. I'm going to sue you. Like that. Like Cuomo heads. Like wizards. That's what happens when you mess with Mother Nature. It sends, it unleashes a horde of wizards that look vaguely. You don't ever make the connection until years later. That's the thing. It devastates the land. 20% of humanity survived, but eventually we beat the wizards and, and only... Only like maybe 10, 15 years later when the truth can come out. When finally the truth gets to come out because some brave whistleblower finally releases the data. We learn that, holy moly, that's what it is. It looked like Andrew Cuomo. Well, just his head. And not really, but sort of. But yeah, his it's and everybody will get it. And everybody will know. And if they had known at the time, it could have saved a lot of lives. But nope, nobody listened. And with that, we're going to end. The, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to that. And with that, we will end this segment. That means that this is the, the penultimate segment for the day on the Action Botsa YouTube channel. But we have one more segment coming up at 9 p.m. And that is the dialectical. And the title for the dialectical is Raise Yourselves a Coronaville Jubilee. How to burn off the gold dust from the mountaintop retreats. And there's a mountaintop retreat. Because that's what you do. That's how you roll. That's how you roll. Well, anyway, I'll see, I'll see you at 9 on YouTube. And if you're watching on dlive.tv slash Frico Live, then, then you'll keep seeing me as you are. And I'm going to say something. I'll probably do another magic trick like I did in the last segment. I'll do that. <laughs>